Drake here back with another video and I'm here to do a quick unboxing of the OnePlus 5T. So real quick before we open this up let's get into some specs of the device. Uh, let's get that out the way real quick. This is rocking a 6 inch display which is near bezel -less. It's got about an 83% screen to body ratio. A 16 megapixel camera on the front with a 16 and 20 megapixel camera on the rear of the of the device. Also, I'm rocking the 8 gigabyte of RAM version. This is the uh, top end version, uh, which has the Snapdragon 835 processor as well as an Adre Adreno 540 GPU. Also, the battery inside is a 3,300 milliamp battery. This is Rocky Gorilla Glass 5 on it as well. It is not IPS dust and water resistant, but there are some videos out there showing that this device could stand up to uh, some occasional dunks and even a dunk in the toilet or whatnot, but I would not recommend doing it. Out the box, you have Android Nougat 7.1.1, and the upgrade to uh, Oreo should be coming out very shortly, if not in December or in January. Um, and that's about it. Oh, uh, it's got um, facial recognition as well, which I'm being told is the fast fastest facial recognition that's out there. Uh, in addition to facial recognition, you do have a fingerprint scanner on the back. All right, that was a mouthful. So without further ado, this is the first time I'm looking at the OnePlus device. So I'm opening it up with you for the first time. In addition to that, this is my first outing with OnePlus. This is my first OnePlus device. I've never had a OnePlus device before. So without further ado, uh, I wasn't really too keen on the uh, OnePlus 5. Um, I really didn't like the look of it, but when you add the additional specs and the, and the upgrades that they've given the uh, OnePlus 5T, I decided to go ahead and try it out. In addition to that, I did purchase a D-brand skin. I kind of like my devices white, so I will be adding a D-brand skin uh, to this device shortly, but that's for another video. The full review of this device should be up as well. It's taking a long time to slide out. Come on, slide out. Okay. So there you have it. Let's zoom in a little bit. Boom. Here's your OnePlus 5T. Let's just take a look at it real quick. All right. So that's your OnePlus 5T. You do have NFC here. You do have your uh, dual cameras in the back fingerprint scanner right here as well. On the bottom, you have your 3.5 mil millimeter headphone jack, as well as a USB type C, some mics, and your speaker uh, speaker port as well. I'm really happy that they stuck with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Um, and OnePlus was basically saying, you know, Bluetooth technology is out there, but the technology is not so advanced right now that they would do away with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And I think a lot of people are happy about that as well. Over here, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more. Over here, you do have your uh, alert slider right here. This is the first time I'm actually using that since I don't really use um, Apple devices. I know they have something similar to that. You have your volume up and down buttons. Over here on the opposite side, you have your power button. You have your, um, your SIM slot. Uh, this device is a dual SIM device. Up here on the top, you have your camera, your front facing camera, as well as your um, your earpiece grill. And that's basically it in regards to the OnePlus device. Let's take a look at what's in the box. Kind of like their presentation over here. This almost like feels like, like a case, you know, that's how hard it is. Let's see what's in here. What I did like from what I was watching in a few videos you know, this device right now, I paid, this device This device is $560. I paid $500 because I had that student discount. So if you could get yourself a student discount, I'd say go ahead and do it. You could save yourself about $53 to $54, which is a significant discount. But even at $560, this device is rocking the top specs that are out there on any kind of Android device, Note 8, Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, and you're buying it at three, four hundred dollars cheaper, so you really can't go wrong. Uh, here's your SIM ejection tool. You have a soft TPU case. Now, again, for a five hundred dollar device, they're giving you a TPU case. Like they throw it in. You can't even get Samsung to throw anything in 
uh, in your device unless you pre-order it they might do some bundles and things of that nature also it has if you can't tell right there it has a screen protector already on it those are some nice touches that I like that I really like that they that they throw in the case and the screen protector so right out the gate you plop your phone in the case you're good to go okay right over here you have your dash charger as well now again this is my first experience with a oneplus device plop this out brick is fairly big but i believe it's a, a five volt dash charger you could uh charge your phone in about a half an hour up to 60 or 70 percent which is pretty cool and then you have this usb type c cable with cable management on there and i have to admit just like everyone else says that their cables are really high end. Uh, they last long. They're real quality case, uh, real quality uh, cables, and, and you could tell. I also purchased uh, the Black Friday deal where they had uh, the dash charger and cable uh, for I believe twenty seven dollars after everything was said and done, which was a fair amount. Now let's power on the device real quick for the first time. Okay. There's your OnePlus logo right there. So a lot of things I'm being told about um, OnePlus's um, UI, that their UI is uh, near stock Android, is very quick. A lot of, uh, just a couple of tweaks to it. It makes the device very sippy. So when I go ahead and do the full review, I'm gonna step you through all the, the settings, the fingerprint scanner, the facial recognition, and all that. I'm not gonna do that right now. This was just a quick unboxing of the OnePlus 5T. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, please leave it in the comments section below. If you would, if you wanna follow the channel, please subscribe as well. There's a lot more videos to come in regards to this device. I'll put this device head to head against a few devices, uh, iPhone 7, um, Samsung Galaxy S8, and a couple other devices that I have laying around the house, and we're gonna put this through its paces. This is anything you'd like to see in regards to the OnePlus 5T, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and be on the lookout for a lot more videos to come shortly. That's my video, guys, and I'll see you in the next.